Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to find the diagonal of a cube. Finding the length of the diagonal of the cube. It takes two steps. First step is we're going to find the diagonal of one of the faces of the cube. And then we're going to use that and one of the sides to find the diagonal of the cube. So let's start with a cube with a side of six. So if the side of one side of a cube is six, we know the base has to be six because it is a cube and by definition a cube has all four sides or all, I guess it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all 12 edges have to be measure six. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the, the diagonal of a face. So let's take and draw it in. So we're finding this length on this front face we know we have a right angle down here in the corner, so really we're dealing with a right triangle that I'll draw out here that has a side of six and another leg of six, and we don't know the hypotenuse. Now, if you know your 45-45-90 uh, rules, you can use that to find the length of, the, of the di this hypotenuse, or you can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we have the two legs, which are both six. So let's plug in six. Six squared is 36, plus six squared is 36, and that is equal to 72. So that's equal to c squared. So 72 equals c squared. So let's take the square root of 72. It breaks down to two times 36, which is six square root of two. And that is the length of the diagonal of the face. So 6 square root 2 is the hypotenuse here, which is the diagonal of this face. Now what we're going to do is use this diagonal to connect from this top point all the way to this far point over here. And this makes a diagonal across from the top corner top left to bottom right, we can find that length. Now, what does that look like? We're gonna go down here and we're gonna draw just this. So we're gonna use this side, which is six square root two. We're gonna use this side of the cube, which is six, and we're trying to find the diagonal that connects the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Well, if you can see it, it's a triangle that's laid kind of at a diagonal across the face of the cube. So we have a right angle down here. Now I'm gonna take this triangle and I'm gonna draw it up here so you can see it outside of the cube. Okay, this piece is right here and that's six square root two. The base is six my right angle connects these two sides. So I'm trying to find the length of this right here. Okay, this is the hypotenuse of this triangle, but it's also the length of the diagonal in the cube. So now again, we just use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find the length of the hypotenuse. But this time, our legs are six, and six square root two. And let's solve for c squared. So that's gonna give me 36 plus, well, six root two squared is 36 times two, which is 72, and that's equal to c squared. And when we add this together, we get 108 is equal to c squared. Okay, so now I just need to take the square root of both sides to solve for the length of, that, of the diagonal. If you're taught just to put it in your calculator, at this point you can put it in and it's gonna be 10 point something. I know that because 100 is a perfect square, so it's a little bit larger than 10. Or you can simplify the radical by just making a little factor tree. This is gonna be three times, if I divide it by three, I'm gonna get there's 3, 18, 36, and we know 36 is a perfect square and it's gonna come out. So that's gonna be equal to um, the square root of 108 breaks down to 
6 square root 3. And there's our answer to the length of the diagonal of the cube. So I want you to kind of look at this. What's going to happen is each time, no matter what the length of the sides are, you're going to um, find the length of the diagonal and it's going to be the side times the square root of 2. Then when you plug that into the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to get this side times the square root of 3. So we can actually write a little shortcut formula. We can take a cube, no matter what the side length is, we can take the side length s, the diagonal is going to be s square root 2, and the, or that's the diagonal of the face, but the diagonal of the actual cube is going to be s square root 3. So there's your little shortcut if that helps you. And thank you for watching our video. Hope this video was helpful.